Hello class. So in this video, I'll show you how to just take this basic form of a house and um, start putting on some doors and windows. I'll probably show you a couple of uh, these elements, but then I might just have you go ahead and do the rest of the work on your own. It'll all be the same. And quite honestly, we're not learning that many new tools as we go. So I'm going to start with the window that's sort of up in this corner up in here. And I'm going to start just by going to my rectangle tool. Actually, what I need to do is this form is inside a group. And I will start by working inside the group. The doors and windows will be their own groups or components in the end. But I, I'm, I'll show you how to do that in a second. But I'm going to start inside the group. Then I'm going to go to my rectangle. Just sort of pick wherever you think the head is. Uh, looking at the image I provided you, we're just sort of sketching. We're filling it out just like you might do in design. Um, and draw the rectangle. Uh, as you see. Now in this case, just to clarify that uh, the windows we're working from in our example drawing that we've been doing, they have some tr trim around each size. What we're doing is the exterior of the trim. We're going to work our way into the window detail. And we're going to do that using the offset tool. So I'm going to go to the offset tool. And you can, you'll can you see what this does is it selects a face. And when I pull in, I get just a duplicate of that rectangle. And so um, the offset tool doesn't work like AutoCAD. You can't offset single lines, by the way. That's a bit of an aside. It has to be a closed form. It doesn't have to be a rectangle, but it has to be a closed form and a complete surface. So I'm going to offset however thick I think the trim should be. You know, Maybe that looks uh, pretty good there. And that, so that's the, the, the exterior trim. That probably gets push-pulled out a little bit from the, from the unit. We'll see this in a second. But then I know there's the actual window frame itself. That's just going to be another offset inside here. That's going to be skinnier, you know, something like that. So we'll, we'll offset that. And then this here will then be the glass. So it's trim, frame, glass. Now, if I had mullions or other things, I could draw those in. But, uh, you know, I want to give it a little bit of a three-dimensional form. So I'm just going to go to push-pull. I'm going to say my trim uh, sits, you know, proud of the of the siding. So I'm just going to pull this out just a little bit, a couple inches, just like that. Um, I could leave my frame here. Uh, usually, if we have a nice thick wall that's a sustainable wall, probably it's pushed in. So uh, what I'm going to actually do is I'm going to start with my glass. I'm going to push this in, you know, quite a bit. You know, modern walls can be quite thick. So I can, I can push that back a bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my frame and push that back as well, but not quite as deep as the glass. And so we can see we've got sort of a a three-dimensional window quickly drawn there. Um, and in this case, I actually have a sunshade across the top. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take my uh, pencil tool. I'm going to draw a line there. I'm going to draw a line there. It's a line with the trim, so I can then just push pull this straight out, give it a little window shade just like that. Um, and I can delete off these little lines if you want to. So what I'm going to do at this point is I'm going to take, I wonder if I have to do this. Well, I'm going to, I'm going to take my arrow and going from left to right. I'm, this could be a bit tricky. I could, I could, you could leave it like this, like in all honesty, you could complete this assignment, but I'm going to make this a component. So I'm just going to go from left to right, just taking the window and make that a component. Now, the reason why I'm making a component rather than a group is because if I were going to reuse this window, which I don't, which I do in the house, on a face that we don't see, so we won't be using it for this particular assignment. But if I did, I could copy that. And if I edit one, the other one edits. Again, I'll go over the difference between groups, groups and components in lecture. But that's the reason why I did that. Plus, if I, if I click out of that component now, um, actually, I didn't make it a component because I, oh, I'll probably cut this section out. Replace with component create. There we go. OK, so now if, if I um, just delete this guy, we can see it repairs the wall itself. A group wouldn't do that because I really would have just taken that service. But a component says, oh, this is probably like a door or window. That's one sort of function simplifying of what a component is. So it will re repair the, the wall behind it just by deleting it. So that's a second reason why you would use a component, even if you aren't using it multiple times. Because um, I can take it apart, I can move it, and the, and the wall fixes itself. So, so basically, that's sort of the same steps for all the doors and windows. Just look to the drawing and see how it looks, and then use the offset tool a bunch of times and you'll get to work. So why don't I do a more complicated one like the, there's sort of a trapezoidal window in here. 
I don't think it's really that much more complicated, but it does have that other shape. So I'm going to come in here to this surface, and I'm going to draw a line about how where I think the lower sill is. Now there's no no trim on this one; it's just frame and, and glass. So I'm going to draw the sill there, and I'm going to offset. Um, you know, the frame thickness, which is not going to be all that much. It's going to be a bit like that. And then um, I got to draw the verticals. Now, in this case, the window's broken into three parts. Again, if this were a finalized model, I would have already worked out what that distance is through any variety of means. In this case, I'm just eyeballing it. I'd be thinking, oh, yeah, I think I want this in three. So I'm going to sort of draw a vertical line down there, approximate the same width, draw a vertical line there, come over which should be in theory about the midpoint. So I could probably snap to that point and draw the two vertical lines just like that, all right? And I'd push pull, I'm gonna press escape because I wanna start with the glass. Again, I'm gonna give that some thickness back. If I double click on the next surface, it's gonna go to the same point. If the double click doesn't work, just click once and start pushing in, but then slide over. And you can see as I touch this surface, this window will come back the same amount, all right? And then I can come back and pull in the frame close to that glass, just like I did before. I can take the, the verticals, snap to that face, take that vertical, snap to that face. And there we go, I've made the trapezoid window. Again, didn't need uh, the frame elements. Now there, there's some sort of line in here that got picked up. I'm not sure exactly what that is. I think it's from when I sort of messed up originally making that. So I can click on it. We'll see what happens if I delete it. Everything looks okay, so we're not going to worry about it. Um, but there, there's that window. Again, same thing for all the steps. You just go along and you um, draw, you offset when it has a frame, you offset in. If it has a sunshade, it pulls out. So what I'm going to ask my class to do is to continue to draw windows. Uh, you know, there's a window here, there's a door here, there's a window on this surface, and then there's a big set of windows along this whole plane here to, to really open it up um, and go ahead and do that i haven't given you the information for the back side or the other side so don't worry about those facades if you want to have fun go ahead and make up your own window schemes for those areas uh, totally fine but at least put all the rest of the windows on here and see if you can get it done yourself and practice using this sketchup tool again this is all meant to be loose because uh, when we use sketchup next time we're going to really be using it for your own design but before we do that, we are going to have an assignment about using materials and making renderings from it um, rather than just having the White House uh, like this. But again, at this point, just get the windows and doors in here and hopefully you've ha had some experience learning SketchUp. So good luck, have fun, and enjoy.